how to access data and obb on android 13 without root and without access to a computer hey peeps what's up manji here back with another video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can access the data and obb folders in android 13 without root and without access to a computer so here it is this is the google pixel 6a running android 13. the first thing we're going to do is we will go into the google play store and herein you need to search for an application called fv file manager now once you search for fv file manager the application is going to show up and all you need to do is install the app do note that the direct link to the application can be found in the description of this video now once the application has installed successfully we are going to open it but before that do note that i have applied for the beta version of that application which is why i got the beta build if you are not enrolled in beta you might not get the beta build and the version which i got is 1.8.91 so go ahead open the application do you want to give it access to photos videos music we are going to say allow for notifications that is a personal preference right now i will say don't allow so you will land up on a page like this herein first of all go into the storage emulated section and on the bottom right you will see a brown icon tap on this and say allow access to manage all files you do need to enable this toggle then we can go back and as you can see the option has now disappeared and going back to the home page from the home page go into storage emulated here and go into android now if you go into the data option you will see all the applications which have their respective folders in data and wherever you want to paste your content or you want to copy from all you need to do is select that so let us say i want to access the chrome data folders i will select chrome and on the next screen say use this folder and say allow bam here it is now i am accessing the chrome files if you tap on this i icon on the bottom it will tell you the path so here it is you can see android data and chrome over here similarly if you want to access the obb so let us go into the home option storage android obb and again it will list out all the applications which are there and in my case i have only one which has the obb folder so i will say select that option and on the next screen i will say use this folder and say allow now as you can see this obb folder right now is empty and if i tap on i on the bottom here it is android obb folder v let us say i want to create a file in here i will say plus and file is selected new file let us give it any name and select ok bam there it is if i pull down and refresh the file has been created now let us try to move some content to the android data folder so let us go into storage and emulated so this here is my internal storage let us say i want to move this file 123.hello to some android data folder how do i do that press and hold over here on the top select the copy option now this file has been copied then let us go into android data here and select whatever application wherein you want to paste this file so let us say we want to go into the google tv folder so we will select this and say use this folder and say allow now i still have the file copied so on the top right i have the paste option i will say this it says skip or overwrite i will say overwrite and then once the process has finished successfully you will see a notification appear and disappear and then if you pull down to refresh bam here it is 123.hello was successfully copied to the android data folder of google tv then let us say you want to do the same process for an obb1 so this time around let us go into the download folder and let us say i want this boot.img moved so same process press and hold 
copy this and then we can go into home storage and emulated go into android obb this is the folder we had already selected this select this one more time paste on the top right and it will tell you that the paste was done successfully refresh bam here it is boot.img successfully pasted into the obb folder similarly you can move around stuff from android data and obb to your internal storage as well so successfully accessing android 13 data and obb without root and without computer now if that method did not work for you i do have another workaround but this one is not as good as the other one because this one only lets you move the files around so copy paste is not a feature on this one it is just cut and paste if i may say so so how do you get this one go to the google play store here and search for files you will get a bunch of file manager applications the one which we want is files by mark apps and software we are going to install this one of course the direct link can be found in the description of this video next up we will go to our home screen and here and you will see files and you will see another files now this one here if i go into the application info by pressing and holding and then selecting the i option is files by google how do you proceed from here first thing you need to do is disable this one so i'm going to say disable the application once it is disabled it will disappear from my application drawer then we are going to open the application which we have downloaded now this is files by mark and as you can see the ui here is a bit different than that from files by google you will go into android data bam here it is you can see the contents go into obb here it is you can see the contents you can change the view and this here is the file which i had pasted using the other application earlier in this video now let us say you want to move stuff to data and obb how do you do that tap on the three dot menu on the top right you will get the option of a new window we are going to select a new window go into obb now if you open your recents you will have two instances one is over here files application by mark the other one is over here so we are going to move into split screen view press and hold on the application icon and say split top that one is on the top which one do you want at the bottom you want this one so here in i have android data folder and here and on the bottom i have android obb so let us say i want to move this boot.img to some other folder let us say i want to move it to the chrome folder how do i do that so on top i have android data chrome bottom i have android obb the folder v applications so you're going to press and hold and then if you press and hold one more time you see this pop up now i can move it and there it is bam moving one item it has disappeared from the obb and moved over to the data folder there it is but as i mentioned earlier the only limitation is that it is moving files i could not get copy and paste to work so if you do get it to work do let me know in the comments below and before I forget, if you ever want to use the files by Google application again, you can always go into settings, apps, see all apps, and here you can search for files. You will get two applications. This is the one files by Google, which we had disabled. Feel free to enable it once you're done moving around files using the other trick. And there it is, peeps. Those are the two methods of accessing data and OBB folder in Android 13 without root, without access to a computer. And that will do it for this video. Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares, and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.